I set up a training business on how to write copy, and that became the School of Copywriting. And, and I created this course, and it was a five-week course. And then something happened as I had a child, and uh, I realised when I was pregnant that I wasn't able to go out and travel and do the work. And this happens to so many women, I'm sure you know, who have a career, have a child, and realise they can't work. And this only occurred to me in a six months in my pregnancy. I was a bit of a slow learner thinking, I don't think I'm going to go out and work after this. And I didn't want to lose what I had. So a lot of my students had said to me, you know, my friends want to do this, but they live in Queensland or Ballarat or, you know, Alice Springs. Can you do a, like a home study version? And I hadn't even thought about that. So after a while, this sort of questions kept coming up. And I thought, well, why don't I? And I remember really clearly waking up one morning because I set up a website and it was rudimentary, you know, 2006. Everything was still new and it cost me $15,000 for the website, what would cost now $200. But nonetheless, I put the work in and all my marketing and my advertising all sort of went into the, the package of, of this website. And I woke up this morning and uh, went to my, my uh, Outlook and I saw my email saying receipt to owner. And I clicked on that and what it told me was that someone had deposited $1,000 into my account overnight, someone I'd never met, never talked to, and they wanted my package. And I sent it, went down to the post office and popped it in you know, the mail. And it made me think, wow, I did nothing. And people were putting money in my account. This is fantastic. Maybe I can be home with my, my baby, you know, instead of having to go back to work, I can actually stay home and run this online business. And it grew and people just kept putting money in my account. And every time I saw that receipt to own, I go, yes. Fantastic. So this was my magical awakening of online marketing and how you can actually stay at home in your pyjamas and not worry about going back to work and dealing with the world. And it was fantastic. I'm a columnist and I'm a blogger on this topic and also the, the persuasive power of words. Because at the heart of all this is Google. And, you know, it's not what we say about ourselves anymore. It's what Google says about us. And if you can't control the conversation, and we have, as Peter said, we've lost control of the customer, but we need to pull back the conversation. And that's what content is all about. It's getting great content out there. So when people type you up on Google, what comes up is what you want to be there, not what other people say about you. Mm -hmm.